If the events in Ukraine and the attack by Russia are not upsetting you, then you really aren't paying attention to the news. We have Russia attacking a sovereign country called Ukraine. It's another failed foreign policy by the Biden administration. They gave up our energy independence last year when we shut down the Keystone Pipeline. We are beholden to Russia and OPEC now to meet our energy needs, which is ridiculous when we had our own energy independence. We fought all those years to get our energy independence and look at where we're at right now. I know that region of Central and East Europe. I was the former branch and division chief for Central and East Europe when I was on the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the National Security Council, where we did the military assessments for all NATO admissions. We did not look at, at Ukraine because Ukraine was a, a, a newly emerging uh, former Soviet Union satellite nation. But we did do most of the others that are in existence today, the Baltics, all throughout former Yugoslavia, and the central portions of uh, Eastern Europe. I will tell you one thing, the most important thing that the people of those countries want is they want their freedoms, they want their individuality, they just want a better life for their families. We need to try and help the Ukrainians out. We can do a lot of things. We can continue to increase the amount of munitions that we're sending to support, to give them a defensive posture, whether that is to uh, the anti-tank missiles or the anti-aircraft missiles, anti-air missiles. Those missiles will make all the difference in the world to give parity and prove to the Russian people that to take on a peaceful, sovereign nation called Ukraine, it's not worth it. This will put Putin on the hot seat. Let's not pussyfoot around. Let's not do the feckless sanctions that came out over the last couple of days. We need to play hardball. We need to go after the Russian economy. The way you do that is you go after their Russian and oil energy sector. We sanction it. We make it a pariah to any nation, whether it's in Europe or the Chinese even. We should not allow the Europeans to have a veto power over SWIFT. We need to initiate SWIFT and shut them out of all transactions. In addition, we need to sanction Putin and the oligarchs. We also need to sanction the Central Bank of, of Russia. It is critical that the Russians know we mean business. If we can unleash our energy independence here in the USA and open up the pipeline, we can not only provide our needs for the USA, we can provide liquefied natural gas to Europe and probably offset most of the shortage they would get from a collapsing Russian sector. If we don't stand up now to tyranny and a bully, where will this end? Where will it stop? We need to get the Europeans to quit vetoing some of the things we're trying to do. And we need to get China to support and defend what we're trying to do. You know, they appear to be wanting to work in cahoots with with. The Russians, we need to step up our actions against Chinese also. If we do these kinds of things, we will hold Putin accountable. We will help collapse his economy to make sure we can shut him down. Thank you.